Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you know, it is silk press season, and so I'm gonna be doing my curly to straight routine today. I just recorded my pre poo routine. I used the African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Detangle and Condition Pre Shampoo, and yeah, it's nice and detangled, ready to go and wash and condition and deep condition now. I'm gonna use the same products that I used in my other routine. It's the Care Care range and i'm also going to do a rinse on my hair as well i've got the adored in jet black it's a semi-permanent hair color so i'll see how i go with the rinse i'm going to actually record that on a whole separate video obviously going to include it in this video but i'm going to do a whole separate video about the rinse okay so the first thing i'm going to do is shampoo and condition my hair so I'm just checking if the temperature is right. I'm looking for it to be lukewarm, not too hot, not too cold. And I'm just saturating my hair thoroughly and making sure to wash out all of that pre-shampoo that I had in my hair before. And now I'm taking the Care Care Hydrating Detangling Shampoo and I'm putting a little bit of that on my hair and I'm gonna do my first wash. I like to shampoo, rinse and repeat every time I wash my hair. So I'm just putting that shampoo on my roots mainly for the first wash. And as you can see, I am leaning over the bathtub in this routine. I do shampoo my hair out of the shower like this a lot of the time, but sometimes I'm not really feeling getting into the shower to wash my hair. So I'm just doing it this way this time. And then I go ahead and take my shampoo brush to further cleanse my scalp and to give it a little bit of an exfoliation session. And then I just rinse that out and then I go in with my second wash and just scrub, scrub, scrub again. And this time I'm gonna take the shampoo all the way down to my ends. So as you can see here, I'm just bringing the shampoo down to my ends and just stroking it downwards. And then just washing that out. And then I'm taking the Care Care Hermecto Cream Conditioner and I'm just putting that in my hair and I'm finger detangling at first. Just trying to get through those big knots before I go in with the brush. My hair should be nice and detangled anyway because I pre pooed before I did this routine. So it's not really tangled. And then I just go in with my detangling brush and detangle it thoroughly. Then I just twist it up and pull it in a cap and left it on for about 15 minutes. Now I'm adding deep conditioner to my hair and I'm using the Care Intensive Restorative Mask. This time around, I didn't actually wash out the leave-in conditioner. I just put the deep conditioner on top of my leave-in conditioner. I don't usually do that. I don't know why I did it this time. Probably thought I was saving time, but I could have just easily washed the conditioner out and then put the deep conditioner in. I don't know whether the conditioner messed up the effectiveness of the deep conditioner by leaving it in, but that's what I did today. But yeah, I just put that in and now I'm detangling it with my brush and putting it up in a twist then putting my shower cap on top and then I go into the next room to apply heat to my hair for about 15 minutes I think it was because so I just thought that I did 15 minutes for the leave-in conditioner already so I just thought let me give myself 15 minutes for the deep conditioner as well I didn't want to waste too much time with my deep conditioning process because I was running out of time with recording for the day anyway and that's all done so now I'm just gonna wash my hair out and then come back to put the rinse in my hair um, will I need to use gloves? Ooh, girl, I wish you did. Not sure, don't really wanna destroy my nails. I've done them last night. And my nails didn't make it, unfortunately. Yep, done them by myself. Love them, they're acrylic, but on my natural now. Yeah, because every time I go to the shop to get them done, I don't really like them, so I just bought my own kit, done them myself. The joke's on you, love. Yeah, so I'm just going to go and wash it out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just changed my t-shirt because I don't want to get my other t-shirt messed up. So I just put on an old t-shirt. So it says to apply a cream around the hairline. I'm not exactly sure what they mean by that, but I'm not going to put Vaseline because my skin is sensitive and it will flare up with anything heavy on my face. So I'm just gonna use my face cream that I usually use and put that around my hairline. So that's what my hair is looking like after I deep condition it. It's really, really soft and fluffy and still feels very, very moisturized as well. Yeah, so I'm just using my, however you pronounce this cream, CeraVe, and then applying it all over my hairline. Yeah, so I'm just gonna apply this all over my hair. Taking about that much. 
just going to stain my hands. What an idiot. It's going to stain my hands. Okay, well, wear gloves. <laughs> it's too late for me now. I mean, I don't know why I thought I could do this without gloves. I mean, I don't have any gloves to use anyway, if that makes me feel any better. But my hands are going to be seriously, like, stained. Oh. <sighs> I don't know how I'm going to get out of my room without touching my bed. <laughs> this is a disaster. Now it's on my wall. Okay. Ah, fantastic. I guess we're done with that bottle. Well, I think the bottle should say, make sure to use gloves. Because I mean, you're going to have thick people like me who just don't have no common sense just applying semi-permanent dye with their bare hands. I washed my hands. <laughs> They're a little bit stained and my nails didn't make it. Unfortunately, yeah, my nails didn't make it, so I'm gonna have to repaint them. Oh, I'm so pissed off. Anyway, so I'm gonna put my cap on and apply heat for 15 minutes. I think that's what the bottle said. So I'm doing the semi-permanent hair dye video separately, but as you can see, if you are going to use this, it is very messy. Like I got it on my neck, got it on my arms. Just basically anywhere it touches, it will stain. And yeah, so just be careful with that. I'm just gonna wash it out quickly and I'm just gonna rinse the water on top of it. Just get all the color off as much as I can and then go ahead and shampoo because the instructions say to shampoo afterwards. And now I've just added my conditioner again and just combed it out. I'm just gonna twist it up and leave it in for like 15 minutes. Oh, it looks good though. Feels good, nice and soft. <sighs> halfway there. I'm not even halfway. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. This is ridiculous. Uh, okay. This is what happens when you try and record five videos at once. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna put my hair up like this. Got the shower cap as well. Oh. Ouch. Just like that. And then just leave that on for 15 minutes. I'll be back again. So yeah, I just washed it out and now I'm going to blow dry. I don't know. What do you guys think? Looks really dark. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so gassed. Okay, so I'm just gonna part my hair into four and I'm just gonna try and zoom, zoom, zoom through this. I ain't playing no games. And this is gonna take me two hours max because I don't have time. I'm gonna start in this back section here. Mm. So today I wanna try out this leave-in treatment by Shea Moisture just to see how it works in my hair because I've bought it and I haven't used it yet. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with that much first. Feels nice and lightweight. Ooh. That feels really good actually. I don't understand why it's in the spray bottle. <laughs> so they easily could have just put it in the tube. But yeah, it's not like it's watery. It does actually just feel like a normal hair product. It's a bit weird. Put that through my hair. And I've got to use a Care Care Silk and Seal on top. It's a blow drying complex. So I assume it's supposed to be used when you blow dry. A dime size amount, they said. But I mean, does it mean all over the hair? Oh yeah, it says all over. So I'm probably using a bit too much. Okay. Doesn't feel like too much. Probably is, but it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> and I'm not going to forget my heat protectant today. I don't have it out, but I'm not gonna forget to put it in. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna go get that now. So this is the heat protecting that I'm gonna be using. It's the same when I use my other routine as well. Uh, does it work? I don't know. It's just a heat protectant. And we just gotta make sure we use it because if we get heat damage, we're gonna blame it on not using heat protectant. I'm gonna 
briefly detangle my hair while I got those products in. Oh, my powder brush. This is a powder brush. I got it from Primark for 90p. Yes, 90p. I had one before, but my boyfriend accidentally threw it away. It fell off my bedside table into my bin, and he took the bin out. <laughs> yeah. So I got one back, 90p. And yeah, I'm just gonna twist it back up so it doesn't get frizzy. I'm just gonna do that for all sections. I'm just gonna put these sections back up into the clips. My hair feels mad soft, by the way. Really, really soft. I'm just gonna start on this side. Take the twist down and start blow drying. So yeah, I'm just gonna use my Revlon One Step Hair Dryer with the powder brush attachment. I'm just gonna start on level one first until my hair is completely dry and then I'm gonna blast it on level two to get it straight on. And once I've finished blow drying on level two all over, I'll go ahead and section it off so I can get deeper into the roots on each section. Wow. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna twist it back up and put the clip back on it. And I'm literally just gonna breeze through this part because it's quite hot and I need to put my fan on. But yeah, I'm just gonna do the same thing on each, on each section. wasn't that long at all. It's only been about 20 minutes. So now all the sections are done. I'm just gonna take them all down. I'm just gonna give it all a once over on high, just to get it as straight as possible. So as you can see, the Revlon is blow drying my hair quite straight. But after this, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Remington Pro Air Turbo 2400 watt hair dryer and just blast that on high heat, high speed on each section using my paddle brush. And I'm using a nozzle attachment to concentrate the air. I am happy with the results that the Revlon gave me, but I know I can get it straighter. And if I get it straighter during the dry, during the blow drying process their silk press will come out with a better result and it will last longer as well so oh my hair is long i'm just realizing now like it's really down on my back and i really do like this powder brush because it's lightweight it doesn't weigh my hand down at all i like my other powder brush that was a little bit too heavy and i find the process is a little bit more clumsy when i'm blow drying my hair so as you can see, this hairdryer is making my hair a lot straighter than the Revlon did. I'm not exactly too sure why the Revlon doesn't do its job, but yeah, that's one of the downfalls about that hairdryer is the fact that it doesn't get my hair as straight as I want it, and it doesn't get to my roots, and the fact that the cool shot is not a cool shot at all. That is much better. Very, very happy now. So yeah, once I've finished blow drying, I go ahead and do a cool shot all over my head. And I'm not gonna use the brush, I'm just gonna, you know, blow myself with it basically. It cools me down because I was quite hot and it cools the hair down, which makes it less prone to frizz up. <sighs> wow, that was a lot. I think I'm gonna take a little break. It's so hot. So before I take a break, I'm just going to part my hair off into the sections that I like to straighten my hair. This is one section. I'm just gonna pin it up. It's that middle section and this section. So as usual, I'm using my Remington Pro Ceramic Extra Wide Plates, I think that's what it's called. And I'm gonna set it at 
210 degrees or that'd be 410 Fahrenheit and I've got my Denman Thermo Ceramic straightening brush. I'm also going to apply more heat protectant on each section. Just a little bit. And this time around, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of Silk and Seal on top. Just a tiny bit. And brush that through. And I'm gonna take a little section. So I'm looking down because the mirror's here. So yeah, I'm just taking a straight now. Doing the roots. And then taking my brush and then putting that straight up behind it and going down one pass. Okay. It's hot. There's a lot of smoke coming off it today. Ooh. She looks good. So yeah, just a few quick passes at the roots. One, two, three. And then pick up the brush. Place it with the straightener. And one slow pass. And I can actually take big sections and still get the same result because these are the extra Y plates, which is why I like the extra Y plates, but they are a little bit more clumsy to handle, I find, with these ones anyway. Yeah, it's a little bit fiddly to use the brush and the straightener together, but this is what's going to give me the best results. And that's all done, that first section already. Oh, this feels great. And I don't know if the semi-permanent dye has anything to do with the silkiness, but yeah, it just feels amazing. Wow. Okay, next section. Let's get this done quickly, huh? I see a lot of stylists saying that you shouldn't straighten like line for line and that you should straighten vertically. Um, so I'm gonna try that out now, see if I like it. In fact, let me put my heat protectant. <laughs> and my silk and seal. Brush that through. Also, I researched that titanium plates do more damage than ceramic, so I say, stick to ceramic straighteners if you can. The titanium ones will get hotter, but it's not all about the heat, it's about the actual method that you do. Literally everything you do from before you wash your hair counts towards the end result. So let's keep that in mind. But yeah, the vertical patterns seem to be working well. I guess it's gonna leave me with no crimps in the middle like I usually do. Wow. Sorry. I'm so gassed. So these thick plates are clumsy sometimes, you know. Like I would not trust myself doing anybody's hair with it. I remember back in the day, I used to burn my sister all the time. She's my big sister anyway, so she can handle it. I'm saying big sister like I've got the option. I'm the youngest in my family, by the way. I've got four brothers, one sister. Yeah, I'm the baby. Yeah, I always burn myself though. I think it's because it's myself. Like, it doesn't really hurt that much. I get really close to my edges, like there just now. I got really close. And that's just the steam. I'm getting so close. I don't know how those hairdressers do it. And I think that's what kind of put me off being a hairdresser. When I used to do my sister's hair and I used to F up so much. I just said to myself, I can't, I can't, I can't do it with strangers. Like what if I damage their hair? I still do like my family and friends hair sometimes. One of my friends actually do get me to do their daughter's hair for them as well. So I'm like a part-time 
dresser. <laughs> That's almost one side done. It's so lightweight. It's so lightweight. And I'm just gonna do the perimeter quickly just so that I can get as close as possible. And with the front section of my hair, because it is a different texture and it acts weird, I don't have to do as long as a pass with it. So I'm just doing quick passes at the front, well, quicker. Is there anyone else out there like me where you got like two different textures on your head? It's really annoying for me anyway, sometimes. And my section I'm all done for this side. That didn't take long at all, did it? Like 20 minutes. Perfect, wow. Very, very lightweight. So yeah, that's one side done. So let's move on to the other side. In fact, before I move on to the other side, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of silk and seal. straight as this side oh yes yeah, so that's what one night looks like guys since I did it accidentally that's what one night looks like not as straight yeah I'm just gonna go over it quickly because that was a mistake I didn't mean to do that I accidentally pressed it off and then I turned it back on and it went to one night automatically how annoying so I'm just gonna do quick a few quick strokes over it because obviously that's not going to stay as straight as the rest of my hair because it's been straightened with 290 I mean 190 not 290 which is not what I wanted to do but hey if you get heat damage you know why you okay. So yeah, this is exactly why I like to straighten my hair on 210 degrees because 190 is not going to do anything for my hair like nada Much better so. <sighs> so if you do have thicker hair I will suggest to go no lower than 200 degrees um, but if you do have fine hair you have to be very careful with high heat but for us thicker girls we need that high heat if we want to get a silky silky result so that's why it's important you need to find the right balance of the good products the level of heat and the method that you're doing and also to watch the pace that you're straightening at as well so if you go too slow you're going to get heat damage and if you pass it through too quickly it's not going to straighten your hair as straight as you want it to be okay this is very 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 lightweight so i don't like it when it's like airy fairy like this so I'm just going to do a silk wrap to make it lie a bit more flat. I'm going to wrap my hair. I do have a detailed video on my channel of how I wrap my hair. Um, I do use a comb in that video though, but I have re-recorded it using a bristle brush. So if you want to see that video, subscribe to my channel and I will leave the how I wrap my hair video in the description box below. It don't move. <laughs> If you're here from TikTok, you know what that means. <laughs> and smooth the rest of the hair around. So I wrapped my hair and now I'm just gonna take my cling film or saran wrap and wrap it around my head. My son is asleep, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use the hair dryer. I'll see how loud it is. But yeah, just applying that cling film to my head. like so and I'm gonna go get my hooded dryer attachment in the room where the baby's sleeping yeah I've got my hair dryer and my soft hood I'm gonna put that on now 
I'm gonna put my hair dryer on low heat, low speed, and I'm just gonna leave it on for about 10 minutes because that's all I can do. I'm so tired, I wanna go to bed. And we just twist it off like this. I'm looking very flat indeed. Just gonna lay it down. Ugh, oh, world of difference, honestly. Okay, it's raining outside. I won't close the window because the moisture from the air is gonna come inside. But yeah. That's the results of silk wrapping your hair. It just makes it feel like it's not fresh, if you know what I mean. So like you went to bed and wrapped your hair and you took it back down. So that's what it, that's what it is basically, but speeding up that process. So yeah, I'm just gonna trim my hair real quick. Start off by parting it out, parting it off. up here 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 <laughs> three sections on each side the first thing I'm gonna do is cut straight at the back so I do have this thing to measure at the back but I forgot that I have a pink part to it at my friend's house so I don't have it to trim my hair today unfortunately and I also have three different hair cutting tutorials on my channel I'm using the same process in each video just one video was blow dried, one video was straightened, and one was with the fake crew clip. I'll leave the links for those videos down below as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna breeze through the whole process of cutting my hair just to shorten up this video a bit. But yeah, I'm just cutting off about an inch and a half. Surprisingly, it didn't need that much of a trim. And I'm saying surprisingly because it's, it has been about seven months since I cut my hair. I cut my hair back in April and yeah, it wasn't in much of a bad way as I thought it was. There was a lot of single strand knots and there was some split ends as well. Single strand knots are the most annoying thing ever, I swear to God. I don't even know properly how to prevent them from happening. I know I wear my hair out quite a lot, which probably contributes to single strand knots, but I like to wear my hair out. I like to wear my wash and goes and my twist outs and my braid outs and everything like that. So I'm not gonna limit those. Yeah, just gonna have to deal with these kind of things that happened really. <laughs> So yeah, trim, trim, trim. So with this routine, I found that my hair was frizzing up and I'm not sure whether it's because of the change of products that I used. So when I have the window open and I'm straightening my hair, sometimes I do experience like the frizzing up straight away, which is so annoying. So I do try not to have the window open, but this day was really, really hot in my house. And also the fan was blowing on me as well. So I'm not sure if it was a combination of three or what, but this routine wasn't as silky as my previous routine. So I will definitely be sticking to the routine I did before, just using all the Care Care products. They seem to work well together, so yeah. But I do like the Shea Moisture leave-in treatment. It felt really, really good in my hair. So I'll probably use it when I'm doing like other blow-dried styles or other heated styles, but yeah. Levels mm. Yes. Yeah, so once I'm all done, I just like to give it a brief check all the way around. I'm just going to spray some silk and seal on it again. So that's what the hair is looking like. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit 
poofy. I don't know why. Before I'm gonna wrap it, I'm just gonna apply some essential oils. Not a lot, just on my ends, not anywhere near my roots. Just to get rid of some of that poofiness. And I do like these essential oils, but I feel that they do build up a little bit and it weighs your hair down a little bit. So it's not, as you can see, it's not as silky now. But I don't mind that because for me, the more silky it is, the more easy it is for it to poof, poof out. So I feel like I need that oil to just weigh it down just a little bit. 22 inches B, which is 56 centimeters. All the way down, 15 and a half, which is 39.5 centimeters. Yeah, so that's where my length is at the moment. I've never measured my hair before, but that's what this is. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. These are my results, as you can see very very happy i don't know how long i'm gonna keep it in for because i am actually on a weight loss journey and i need to exercise so i don't think it's gonna last very long i'm supposed to be going to the gym tomorrow but i'm not gonna go because i got the dentist so i'm just gonna take a long walk instead i've got to lose some of these boobies honestly because it's not cutting it weight loss it is instead of straight hair great so yeah i'm probably gonna just keep it in for about two weeks and yeah very very happy that i don't have to do my hair for two weeks <laughs> but yeah anyways if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this i am almost at a thousand guys almost i need to get a little bit more to reach that milestone so if you could subscribe to my channel that'd be great but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one